Good afternoon, Stampin' Addicts. Hope everyone's doing fine. Today I was playing with this uh, frame I found at the thrift store. I shopped the thrift store quite a bit. Um, and I saw this on Pinterest. And I really like this. Uh, family where life begins and love never ends. Isn't that just awesome? So I am using a frame I found from the thrift store. I probably got it for three bucks because I'm cheap. And I'm using the um, butterfly punch. And the papers, I have like a gingham, uh, not really gingham, uh, buffalo check thing going on upstairs. I like buffalo check, so this is the one I created for myself, and I figured I would show you guys how to do it. And if we all love punches, this is a great punch way to use your punch. Um, this uh, family where life begins and love never ends, I just put it right on Word and typed it out and printed it off on white cardstock. And I made it, you know, larger for this frame, which I'm going to show you here, and it'll be the exact same way that I did this frame. So I just want to do it on something bigger so you guys can see. Um, I'm going to use um, Bird Ballard paper from the Stampin' Up! Uh, main catalog. So I literally just typed it up, printed it off, and then cut it down to fit this frame. And I did the exact same thing with this big frame that we're fixing to do. Um, I actually got this at the thrift store today for $3.99. Um, I enlarged it, as you can see, the print's larger. And I turned it to um, a, por a portrait instead of landscape. Or I have it to landscape instead of portrait so it would fit in my frame. So I am going to show you how to do this. All right. So first thing I did was I printed this off, typed it up, printed it off. So that hard part's done. And then um, I found the paper I wanted to use that had the colors in it because I love the buffalo check and I love black frames because they seem to, I don't know, they just stand out and I love it. And I like white frames too, so. All right, so as you see, this is a heart. I hope you can see this because this frame is kind of big. You move over a little bit and move it over. So this is a heart that we're making butterflies around. I just took a regular sheet of paper, typing paper, printer paper, folded it in a half, and cut myself out a heart. For this one, depending on the size frame you have, I had a smaller heart for this one. So that's what I'm basically doing. We are going to, I punched out all of the butterflies and I put the heart down and then just put the butterflies all the way around the heart. So I'm using the heart as a stencil. So since this one's bigger, we got a bigger heart. So I am going to tape this over the heart, and just basic scotch tape. I'm just placing it over the heart where I like it, centered in the frame. So that looks pretty centered to me, because I've already centered my family. Okay, so the Bird Ballard that I'm using I'm using these scraps from this paper, and this is Bird Ballard. I like, I love colors too. And that's the other side. And then there's this one. I love the polka dots. And then we have these bird cages, which we're gonna use the bird cage side. And then we're probably gonna use the flower side of this one. And then we'll probably use this side. And then here's the last sheet. We'll probably use the yellow. 
So that is Bird Ballad cardstock or designer series paper. That's Stampin' Up Carries. Um, and these are the scraps from mine. So I literally just went through and punched. Punched everything out. I have everything. Um, I just feel like something's not in the way. All right. I have everything punched out. These are my scraps that I use. And see, I even have smaller scraps, so I just use whatever scraps I have. And here are my butterflies. And then I have the small ones, too. I don't know how many I'm going to need, so I just punched a bunch of them. These are what I used from my last one. There's some... Um, this is the Botanical Butterfly DSP. I think it was in celebration last year. And then here's some of the DSP from uh, the Parisian. That's in this year's um, mini catalog. So I just love these colors. I hope the lighting is okay. All right. And then I have minis over here too. So we'll work in some minis. So the first thing I'm going to do is I already have this down over top, so I have this my heart. I am using, I don't know if anybody um, gets Paper Pumpkin, but with Paper Pumpkin you get all these glue dots. So we're going to use glue dots in a piercing tool. And I'm going to take the glue dot, put it on with the piercing tool. So let's start with this one. I'm literally just going to fold the butterfly. I've already done the punching out. I'm just folding it. And then I'm going to put the glue dot on the back. And then just place it on. Doesn't matter how. I mean, because butterflies fly in all different directions. You can even move it up. See, I like glue dots because they go on and off real easy. You can take a small one. Let's start with this little one. We'll start with this a little yellow one. And we'll start that at the center. And then we'll move from there. Okay, and I'm just peeling that off. Just put it in the center. Here it is. Beautiful little butterfly. We love butterflies. Okay, and then here's another one. I'm just going to point this one this way. So we know butterflies move in all different directions. Okay, I'm going to take a few of these and just kind of move them over. One of each. I really like this one right here, this paper. I love that paper. See, I like both sides of that, that and the yellow. So we'll just do that. So let's add some glue dots on. Glue dots. I'm putting them literally in the center. I'm using my piercing tool. pulling off the back and I'm just bending it, folding it in half. Okay, and here's another one, just pulling off the back, just bending it. Another one. Mm. Let's put this one here. Put a yellow one right here. And put another one here. 
I mean, I'm just trying to make sure I keep the outline of the heart. It doesn't matter which direction your butterflies go in. Because if you feel you have too much space in between them, we have all these little butterflies that we can put right in the middle of them. We know butterflies fly in all different directions, so just move them all around. Okay, let's grab a few more. I hope everybody's doing pretty good. I know with all this stuff going on with the coronavirus, it's freaking everybody out. I work for a convenience store and everybody's coming in and they're a little scared. And I understand. I'm just happy that we can still be open. So People can come in and get their milk, eggs, and butter, and bread, because I'm sure eventually they'll probably shut us down. But we do have milk, egg, butter, bread, and we have gas. So that's probably why they haven't done anything with us yet. But they have closed down a lot of the, a lot of the restaurants. And what a great time to, I mean, now we're... Everybody's inside anyway. Find some projects to do. And that's what I've decided to do. Let's work on some projects I've been wanting to do for a while. And this one I saw a long time ago and I've been wanting to do it. So I just love how my first one showed up, turned out. So I wanted to show you guys. And, you know, family is a great thing. I don't know where I'd be without mine. Gosh, I love those stripes on this. And I have wonderful friends. And if you see, notice, this just kind of fills in really nice and quick. I love these glue dots. <laughs> and you see, I'm just staying around the heart. All right, let's grab them again. I do want to put some small ones in, so I'm going to bring some small ones over and work those around. I'm sure everybody is getting the gist of it and they understand how this is working. I'm sorry if I'm going a little slow, but it takes a little bit of time to put these little glue dots on and peel the backs off. and. And the best thing about this, you can put them any way you want to. You can use all the same colors. You can use any size frame. I like to use the ones with matting. I don't know. It just looks like... I don't know. It finishes it off. I'm sure it'll look great without matting on it, too. So the frames that I've been looking for have matting on them. All right, let's see. Oh, and have you seen the new paper pumpkin? Oh my gosh. I haven't gotten mine yet. I'm anxiously waiting for it. 
Hopefully I'll get it in the next few days. It is adorable. All right, that's one down. I'm gonna need another one. Okay, so I'm gonna put some small ones around. This looks like I put one guy right there. There's another little one, pink. This one right here. I'll move one of these over here. Here's do this one with white on it. Put it right here. Kind of putting it, tucking it in. Looks like I could tuck one right there too. Do this one. Just kind of tucking them in, whichever direction. We know butterflies; they go any direction. They just want to fly. All right, cool. Now let's start working on the big ones. Hope my background noise isn't too loud for you. I have the librarians on, on Hulu. Kind of a librarian nut. Well, not anymore, because they're not making anymore, but something I can listen to that I don't have to focus on, because, you know, I've already seen it. No, I don't like that one. What's going on? There we go. It's just a backing. Okay. And I, oh, I guess that one's not staying on very well. Let's try it again. Add another dot to it. It's a good way to use your scraps too. And I bet you can do this with any punch. You could do it with uh, like a heart punch, would be really cute. Bunch of little hearts. Oh, here's this one color I like a lot. I think I'm gonna point it this way. I'm going to put a little guy right here. Oh, it's another one of those stripes. Okay, we won't do that. We'll put that little guy over here. All right. Oh, yes. Mm. Do one of these white ones. See, I have lots of these glue dots. You can also get them on the roll. They have glue dots on a roll. Okay, cool. I'm liking how it's turning out. All right, I need some more big ones. And I want to put another stripe one right here. And then I will This is the part where you kind of figure out, okay, which one's next? Do I have that one down? I don't. Okay. So I'm just turning them one way and turning them another way and peeling off the back. And the closer you get them together, 
the more likely the wings will stay up. The further apart, I'm sure eventually, if you don't have it creased enough, the wings will fall down. And I really like the 3D effect of the wings staying up. Oh, I guess I should remove that glue dot. I don't know, crafting makes me happy. I feel like I need one more. That one is not working out the way I want it to. Let's try it again. Sometimes it might take more than one glue dot. Alright. Um, maybe I'll turn this one in. Let's see. Let's grab one of these pink. We'll do this pink one. And if you're a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing and helping me reach my uh, my uh, thousand subscriber limit. Woohoo! I'm at a thousand. Um. Let's add some small ones. I'm going to put a few small ones in around here. Uh, I really like this yellows and these stripes. And the polka dots. And this one too. Okay, so if you don't know, Paper Pumpkin is a kit you get in the month, get in, you get in the mail once a month, you subscribe to it, um, it's like, I think it's like 20 or $22 a month, uh, you get a different, uh, kit every month, and you never know what it's gonna be. This year, this month's kit, um, is, uh, it's, uh, looks like a card with the rain boots, all those adorable rain boots. So it's a lady with rain boots. And you get stamps with it, you get everything included, you get glue dots. If there's dimensionals that are required, they send you dimensionals, you get stamps, you get a stamp set. You get, uh, oh, this month is actually a special month because it's their, I think they're on their seventh, seventh year. So it's their seventh anniversary. So you get a stamp set with every year, every year that comes around, it's their anniversary. You get an extra set. You also get, um, depending on if it's cards or it could be little tiny gift cards or little tiny note cards, or it can be regular, our regular size card, which is um, four and a fourth by five and a half. And it has everything. It even has the ink. It's got the envelopes. I'll grab a kit and I'll show you. I'm actually in the process of organizing my kits. Okay, so there it is. Now, let me grab a kit and we'll reveal this in one second. Okay, this is actually um, August. Wait, what month are we in? January, March. March. So this is, I believe, um, it's called Lovely as a Day, and it's February's kit. I haven't even opened it yet. Um, but there are stamps that are included with it, and these are the stamp set, the stamp set that comes with it, and these are all the cards it makes, and it has envelopes to go with it. And it has everything in the kit. I've printed off the, um, the stamp, 
uh, it's for the stamp case, so you can keep your stamps and keep them organized. So it comes with a case liner that you print off yourself. And I normally get two kits a month. Um, one I get for uh, making the cards. The other one I normally try to do scrapbook pages with because I like scrapbooking also. And most of the time, their stamps and everything, their paper is just so beautiful that I like to do other things with it too. And sometimes I'll make a, a YouTube uh, on making the cards. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, these are like alternative cards you can make, but look, comes with ink. Here's the stamps. Everyone comes with stamps. And then here's the accessories with it. And it has directions. It's got a YouTube tutorial telling you how to put it together. And it's got everything in it. This would be this is great for everybody that are staying home right now. This kit has everything in it. One time it could be cards, one time it could be little gift bags. And this is like everything. The instructions. Dimensionals. It even has this, these cute little sequins. They have die cuts. These are all die cuts. These are all envelopes. And look at these. Oh, they're foam stickers. I didn't realize these were foam. How cool. Those are foam. And they go on the front of the cards. Here's your card bases. Here's another card base and another card base. And then here's your labels that go across, like happy birthday. So this is a paper pumpkin kit, and you get them every month. When you subscribe for monthly, or you can buy them three at a time, you'll get one a month for three months. Or And this is like all the stamping, and it's this is really cute. Now I can't wait to do this one. So have an awesome day, and I know we're not finished yet, so I don't know why I'm telling you that, but there's a paper pumpkin kit. I keep talking about them, so that's the kit. Okay, so let's do the reveal. Oh, what is this? Uh, Rocco Rose is the ink, and these are ink spots. So you get one with everyone. All right, the reveal, okay. Fingers crossed, it turned out as beautiful as this one. I like these colors. Let me poop up some of these since I had a box on it. Just pull this out. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Wonderful. Besides my little spots right here. So, there's an expression. And it's called Stop the Paper Hoarding. There is another demonstrator that likes to use that expression. So here's a way for you to not paper hoard and use your scraps. That's what these were all scraps. And these were all scraps. So thanks for watching. I hope you're having an awesome day. And um, create. Create, create, create. Stay positive, and uh, we'll get through this situation that's going on right now in our world. Um, thanks for watching. Happy crafting! Yay! And uh, I'm gonna have another um, video coming up on punches again. It's going to be a um, what is it gonna be? It's going to be a a card um oh my gosh i can't think of what it's gonna be well you'll be surprised have a wonderful day thanks for watching happy crafting